And now, ladies and gentlemen, I invite Mr. Gordon Chung, Deputy CEO SBMA, to provide an update on outreach initiatives of SBMA in 2018 and 2019. Let's welcome Mr. Gordon Chung, please. Welcome. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests. Welcome to the um, third edition of the uh, APMC. So I'd like to spend a few minutes to update uh, what SBMA did in the past year and what we're going to do in the next three years. Okay. So as early as July last year, SBMA already embarked on a mission to connect the industrial markets in East Asia with that in Southeast Asia. The, we have to believe that actually because with the whole Asia uh, supply chain, they have one common product is kilobars and four nines of finance. So I think it's good to bring everyone from North, for East Asia and Southeast Asia together okay, to make it a complete ecosystem. So the, in the last year, uh, Albert and I spent a lot of time to travel around the Asian region. Uh, we only mission is to promote integrity and connectivity among the markets. And our, our aim is also to integrate ecosystems and supply chains. And the cities and countries we visited in the past years are Hong Kong, Xi'an, Shenzhen, Beijing, and Shanghai. And in the coming year, we spend some time actually in Tokyo and so as well, try to make this one uh, complete. And in, in South Asia, we visited Johor Bahru, Kuala Lumpur, Hanoi, Yangon, and Jakarta. And for the further south, we visited Dubai, India, and Perth. And the officer sector, uh, Albert uh, visited the uh, Central Bank of Vietnam and Central Bank of Philippines. And I uh, went to the Myanmar to, uh, to visit the ministries and see what's going on there in the Myanmar market, which now is uh, becoming another emerging market after Vietnam. On the other hand, we also uh, has more close relationship and engagement with the, uh, the government sectors, uh, particularly last year with the Ministry of Law. Uh, Singapore government is, is uh, actually just passed the bill in, uh, in February uh, they launched new regimes regarding the anti-money laundering and also the countering the financing of terrorism. Okay. Uh, this may need uh, imposed on the uh, precious metals dealers, the sector, PSMD. Uh, in uh, 2017, the second half, so the, uh, the Minister of Law engaged with SBMA during the constitutional period of the regulatory regime. And uh, after that, uh, SBMA could work together with the uh, Minister of Law to, in, to make a few introductory seminars for members and non-members. And, and this year in February, the Bill of finally passed uh, in Parliament. And uh, anyone who registered PFMD sector and uh, to make the violation, they be fined or even the imprisonment. So uh, the government requires all PSM in the sector to register, uh, register with the register. And also in the past year, we have uh, worked on a lot of correction work and policy work with the field uh, uh, famous entities in Asia, the Shanghai Exchange, for example. And also work, uh, we also have exchange partnerships to cross promote between Hong Kong Exchange and SBMA. And also, we work along with the Indian Bullion Market Association and Indian Bullion Jurist Association. And also, though, we uh, work together with the Myanmar Go Development Property Company and try to do, provide some advice to the Myanmar Go industry. And also, the, we, wait, we are also invite guests to speak at a number of international conferences and forums in, in the Hong Kong, Singapore, Beijing, and Dubai. Our initiatives for the next three years, actually, we just uh, uh, mapped out the three-year plan for the next three or four aspects we will do for Singapore as a global bullion hub. So the major thing is surrounding Singapore as a global bullion hub. And uh, in the late April, actually, we, fought, we, have, uh, we organized the brainstorm session to bring up a uh, task force. We gathered about 18 representatives and market leaders from Singapore and Hong Kong and appreciate the involvement of the uh, two, uh, two representatives of Hong Kong group throughout the way from Hong Kong to uh, Singapore to participate in this brainstorm session. And uh, we discussed about the vote, the caring, benchmark, practice, and conduct code. And also, the, in the upcoming three years, we will reach out to Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. 
Okay, and then on the other side, I also uh, bring out the uh, SBM Academy initiative. This is we're trying to bring the market awareness about our good industry in Singapore. And we're partnering with uh, universities and academic institutions and provide them the tailor-made courses to make them realize the actual what's happening in the good industry if they're interested to participate as one of the players in this market. And then on the best practices, we also in the, invest a lot of time in the um, digital space and also uh, working with um, Minlo on the AM LSFT new regime. And on our quarterly uh, magazine, The Crucible, we are going to revamp the content layout and also diversify the topics, reach out more to the market analysis as well and digitalization and talk more about the AI application, dark blockchain, and, uh, com and we we'll also offer uh, more competitive uh, advertisement rates to our members and non-members. Update on membership. Uh, last year we have um, increased amount of inquiries, about 34 inquiries from SBM for SBM membership. And uh, in the last quarter, amazingly, we have 10 new members joining SBMA to make it up to 46 members currently. And uh, these new members are from Singapore locally, Australia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Cambodia, and Myanmar. And also we're implementing a new KYC questionnaire and uh, implement due diligence measures on the new applications to uh, coincide uh, with the Ministry of uh, New Region. So next, through direct and indirect contacts, Inquiries and exploratory meetings, SBMA has sensed the growing number of traders, intermediaries, suppliers, blockchain technology, and digital precious metal startups from Hong Kong, mainland China, UAE, and India. The showing in keen interest to sell or move operations in Singapore. We're happy to see that and welcome, welcome them all. Some countries, including Singapore, which foresaw the digital and technology revolution, have begun to draw up long term policies to brace the era of big data and automation. And Singapore government in 2018 published the digital government blueprint to address the region. The precious metal South Singapore is undergoing a slow yet noticeable transformation from manual operation towards full digitalization. And that's the end of my presentation. Thanks so much for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Gordon Chung.